Hey y'all, we're going to kick off this episode with a quick shout out to our patrons, Tobias and Eric. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. Welcome to Tea is Good, Books Are Better, the podcast where we drink tea and talk about books. I'm Raven. I'm Jess. What's new with you, Jess? Mm. What's what's cool? Well, what's I've been new? playing what's bumping? a shit ton of Folders Kate. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Every time I log into Discord, I see you playing Baldur's Gate. <laughs> it's all I'm doing. <laughs> okay. So this is a game that we used to play when we were like young yeah i don't think i properly played it just like how i didn't properly play uh morrowind oh because yeah game. we don't know what we're, we're doing when we're that yeah, age we're really young this was like before we had internet yep we were playing this game games dad got secondhand from his friend's stepson oh i thought it was from a student oh i thought he got them from brian's stepson oh uh, it could be that sounds mm-hmm. right, too. He bought so. a bunch of games. That PC games that he gave to my dad. To our dad. Yeah. And Baldur's Gate was one of them. I remember playing that game. It's like a dungeon crawler, right? Yeah, it's like... A, it's straight up D&D. Oh. Or I am the Taskmaster. <laughs> ah, cool. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so tell me how it is. Well, it's really good. <laughs> Do you have that nostalgia? <laughs> um... I did it first. I tried making a mage character, because I like mages, but she kept getting her ass whooped. So I remade a game and chose Paladin this time. And oh. he is buff as fuck. I never and choose magic everyone. users. You yeah, know, I learned the hard way. <laughs> it's not used to Skyrim where I play a battle mage, and she kicks ass. Uh. But I feel like Skyrim is pretty easier to boost the levels than it is in this game. Yeah, I guess they've, like, over time figured out that <laughs> magic users need to, they need to be buffed, because they need- it was always, like, so much time needed to, like, build up spells, Yeah, and they'd have, like, long oh, cooldowns, and they're weak as fuck, like, and that too, <laughs> tiny amount of life, yeah, mm-hmm. like, my party has one mage in it, she has, like, all of the post- health potions. <laughs> Cause she she gon' die. She gotta die. <laughs> uh, like even my druid is weak. Like good God, I keep them in the back. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm having tons of fun. That's nice. Uh, <laughs> I'm super addictive. I think Johnny hates the game. <laughs> oh, cause you're addicted to it. <laughs> Because I'm always playing it, and he's like, want to watch a movie? And I'm like, uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, excuse me, I am trying to buff up my uh, paladin right now, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Johnny. <laughs> I chose him to be a black guard, which is like an anti-paladin. A black knight. What, a, what did you call it? A black guard. Oh, a black guard. Yeah. And then I got another member, and my party's also black guards. So they're both, like, super buff. Oh. Well, that seems fun. Uh, maybe I should get it. Was it cheap when you got it? It was ten nine nine. Okay. On sale. Okay, what percent off and was that? And it was, like, uh, I think it was... I don't know. Mm. I remember I chose it because all the reviews were positive. Okay. And I was like, let me check. Probably not on sale anymore. Oh, it is half off. Ten nine nine still on sale. Let me have a look at it. Oh my god, let's play together. <laughs> we can do that. Um, there's a one that says multiplayer, but I don't know if it's online. Uh, is that the first one or the second one that you have? I have the first one, Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. I also have the second one on my wish list, but I'm going to beat the first one first. Hmm. All of my party members are essentially, like, evil-sided because I can't do things without the good guys getting all pissed off me and like, Why are you doing this? I didn't join this team for this. (laughs) (laughs) 
Wow, so you actually have to think about that kind of thing? Yeah, I cheat by looking on. Before, when I meet someone who wants to join my party, I check their alignment and shit. On oh. the internet. Google oh. it. Like, who is this person? <laughs> uh-huh. Make my party stronger. <laughs> Chaotic <Hunter> good. <laughs> Neutral yeah, evil. Only one good person, which is Imowen, who is your best friend from childhood. I can't get rid of her. I feel bad. Uh-huh. She's, She's good. Okay. <laughs> She tolerates. All the comments on this game are like, this was my very first PC game ever. Yeah. It's Probably the-, the game that made me fall in love with gaming. Too like, busy <sighs> playing to post a review. <laughs> 90% of the comments are like this. Mm-hmm, like, everyone loves it. Oh, there's one person who says, do not buy this for multiplayer. Ooh. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. I have a little story to tell. Ooh. I was in Vancouver last week and i was walking in like downtown at night i I was with a friend so (laughs) i wasn't alone (laughs) and we get stopped by this woman who asks us for some change uh my friend immediately is like sorry (laughs) i don't have any she just like I don't know, she was going on about how hungry she was, and I don't know, I guess I was feeling generous or whatever. Yeah. Or I was, like, in a good mood or something. I don't know. Normally I would say no, because if you, like, said yes to every single person who stopped you when you're walking around downtown at night, you would have no money by the time you got home. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So I looked in my wallet, and I was like, if I have, like, five or ten, then I guess I'll give her that. Uh, but I was, as I was digging through my wallet, she's like, a green one, please. A green one, please. I was like, yep. bitch. <laughs> the last time I gave up someone money, they demanded more than what I gave them. And I was just like, huh. nope. <laughs> and I had like, <laughs> I normally don't have any bills, but I just, I had a whack load of cash <laughs> at that time. But I was mm-hmm. not going to give her $20. Yeah, what does she say? What the fuck? <laughs> like, what are you gonna give me in return? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I was you like, want this? you gotta give me something. I'm digging through my wallet, like making sure she can't see in my wallet. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, sorry, I don't have any bills. I was like, I have some small change. I could give you that if you want, but that's all I have. And she was like, anything will help. And so I took all of my small change and I gave it to her. And then she just like kept asking for more (laughs) as I was putting my wallet away. And she was (laughs) like talking about how it wasn't enough. And I was like, it's not enough for her drugs. Well, she was saying that she needs more or whatever. And I was like, I just gave you that much. Like, it's what I have. (laughs) (laughs) God, and then when we were walking away, my friend was like, great, we both have COVID now. And I was like, oh, fuck, I forgot about that. Because <laughs> my hands made contact with her hands when I gave her the money, and her hands were disgusting. Ew. Uh, but yeah, so it was just a lot of sanitizing after that. Ew. Oh, God. Just, like, literally choosing beggars. Yep. (laughs) Like, I feel bad for the situation that you're in, and that sucks, and I wish things were better for you, but I'm not going to give you $20. (laughs) No. Damn. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Yep, so I'm not going to make that mistake again. (laughs) Not going to give. Especially downtown. God, there's so many. Yeah. <laughs> Once one sees you giving one, they're, they're going to start swarming. Right? <laughs> so after that, I just said to my friend, next time, like, we're just going to dodge the next one. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel bad for not making eye contact, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, like, they're right on you if you make eye contact. Yep. And then you're even more of an asshole if you just ignore them. Yeah, I feel bad for ignoring them, but... I don't want to give her money. I would have given her like five or ten dollars if I had 
those bills, but I only had 20s and 50s. Yeah. Oh, frick. <laughs> like, yeah, I no, I'm not giving what you that. What are you doing downtown with that kind of money? I was with a friend, yeah. okay? Oh. It was fine. <laughs> not if someone has a weapon. Okay, they're gonna beat two people up? Yeah, if they have a gun. Okay, <laughs> I know it's Vancouver, but this is still Canada. Hey, people have guns. <laughs> you grew up in Wally. Uh, yeah, but it's not like every person on every corner has a gun. And also, I grew up in Wally, so it doesn't really phase me. <laughs> 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 anyway, you have any exciting stories for me? I feel like I've told a bunch lately. No, I don't go out. <laughs> COVID keeps me in. I've definitely been taking advantage of, like, the looser restrictions that BC has now. Yeah? I'm not hanging out with people in groups. Mm -hmm. But I've been seeing a couple people individually. Some still six feet apart, but, I mean, we're still getting together. That's all right. Yeah, it feels almost normal again to be seeing people. <laughs> nice. It's a good feeling. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, still gotta try to... Obviously, stay safe and take things seriously, but at the same time, it I am kind of recognizing that I'm not as mindful about it anymore yeah. as I used to be. I mean, thankfully, the numbers are, like, going down. They're not nearly as much as they used to be in BC. Like, we're doing really well here, comparatively. Mm -hmm. But yeah, still got to keep it in mind because it's gotten kind of close to me a couple of times so Ooh. like a person who was connected to a person I knew got it twice oh twice not the same person two different people okay <laughs> like, yikes. like there's one person I knew who's uh whose friend's family got it and then another person I knew whose parents got it oh my god yeah so it's crept close, but I've been lucky that no one that I know directly has had it yet. That's good. See. Yeah. Mm hmm We all just need to stay mindful. Like, I yeah. complained last episode about how people in my store are being so thoughtless and, like, standing too close to other people and blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, I do need to recognize that in myself as well and just be mindful that... I still need to, like, stay six feet away from strangers and not hang out with my friends in big groups. Just that sort of stuff. Yeah. Anyway, I guess we can get into it. Cool. All right. Uh, what are we drinking today, Jess? My same ginger green tea. I'm still drinking my uh, Czech Pilsner, to be honest. It's not that great right now. Ew. <laughs> Beer is never great. Actually, Johnny bought this mango beer that was actually pretty tasty. Oh, interesting. I had a mango jalapeno beer once. Oh, was it spicy? Um, I tasted the jalapeno more than I tasted the mango, so yeah, it was a little bit spicy. Oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> Get a mango jalapeno beer you want, the freaking mango. Yeah, I mean... If I had to choose between the mango or the jalapeno, I would have choose I would have chosen the jalapeno. Ugh. Why would you not? That's the whole point that I would buy a beer that has jalapeno in it. Why else would I buy a beer that has jalapeno in it? I want to taste the jalapeno. Just for the spice. Jalapeno doesn't really taste good. Are think. you on fucking I don't like the crack? Taste of jalapenos. <gasps> I mean, I like habaneros cuz they're sweet, but Jalapenos? Nah. Oh. They're like green pepper. Green peppers are gross. Okay. Um, you're Mexican. And as a Mexican, I am offended. <laughs> Jalapenos <laughs> are God. Nah. Jalapenos are God. You know what? I'm going to preach habanero to you. Habanero is good. <laughs> okay, habaneros are good habanero too, but that is not good. something that you can like have in every single meal. I do. I have habanero sauce that I add to my food. It's delicious. It is delicious. But that shit is like fucked up. You know what I mean? It's good, no. but it's fucked up. 
<laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it's a habanero. Habaneros have a nice heat. It's like a warm blanket inside of me. That's how I feel about jalapenos. I feel like habaneros are like Meh. the devil's dick inside of you. <laughs> I feel like jalapenos are a bit mild. They yeah, really but burn. like in a good comforting way. Nah, it's like, that it? <laughs> <laughs> Same with serranos. That it? Uh, I used to eat pickled jalapenos by themselves right out of the jar. Okay, I don't mind pickled jalapenos because the pickle is delicious. <laughs> the vinegar and the... Yeah, the vinegar is delicious. Mm. I don't know if they do dill. Fuck, pickled jalapenos but... are so fucking good. Put them in nachos? Mm. Yes! Hell yeah. Anyway, enough of the pepper wars. <laughs> <laughs> Habaneros are good, okay? <laughs> I'm not saying they're not. I'm just saying. Jalapenos are good. Mm. Beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> Habaneros are like Jesus, but jalapenos are God. <laughs> <laughs> so habaneros are like the exciting, like, ooh, he's around. Ooh, yeah, he's there. Oh yeah, he's going he's gonna do some crazy shit and then he's gonna he leave and he's gonna come back. <laughs> but jalapenos are like always there just like a comforting blanket <laughs> god overhead <laughs> i think i sold it pretty well <laughs> all right fine i guess you don't have to agree with me fine thank you <laughs> all right i feel like i had started a different conversation and it somehow devolved into pepper talk and now i'm forgetting what the original conversation was your beer. Oh, beer! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. What I was going to say uh, before the <laughs> jalapeno argument came up was that I had brought this beer out, like, right when I got home, but then I had to wait for you to get on mine, so it, like, got kind of warm, and I didn't open it until... It didn't take me that long. I know, but I was, like, at my computer already before I messaged you, too. Oh. Like, just setting up the recording shit and whatever. <laughs> so you glance on Steam, you're like, oh, she's playing Baldur's Gate again. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so my beer is, like, a little bit warm now, and, like, the can's all sweaty. Ugh. That's not nice. Yeah, it's not pleasant. Put it back in the fridge, grab another. Yeah, but then it'll lose the carbonation. I'm not a carbonation girl either. <laughs> okay, but flat beer is so nasty. You know what? Beer is nasty either way, so I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then believe me when I say flat beer is extra nasty. Ooh. If I think it's nasty, then it's extra nasty. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But there are... Dude, okay, I tried this. Okay, <laughs> this is a conversation that keeps devolving, but... <laughs> <laughs> I tried this uh, rosé beer the other day, what? and it tasted like wine, Ooh! and I think you would have loved it. Ooh! It was actually made with wine, too, so. Cool, fancy. Yeah, I think you would like a lot of sours, too. Like, they just taste really fruity. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> they taste like a... <laughs> Just like a cider, but like maybe slightly bitter. Ooh, I like ciders. I know. The last time I said that, you said the same thing and you had the exact same reaction. Not a carbonation. Not uh, a kind of carbonation at all. It burns my mouth in a bad way. <laughs> well, beer will make you very gassy. Anything carbonated makes me gassy. <laughs> I'm drinking lots of nudes. I'm burping all the time. Soda doesn't make me gassy. Really? Yeah, it's basically only beer. Maybe it's the gluten could be the yeast that yeast that yeast <laughs> anyway uh where did we leave off our characters Tyrion inspects the mud gate two knights are made into the king's guard and very springs a list of traitors wow okay <laughs> bran rickon jojen mira hodor osha and the wolves all disappear and theon spends a day looking for them with no luck 
Reek suggests going to a mill to find them, and Theon agrees. Wow! In quotation marks. <laughs> John and Stone Snake ambush some wildlings, and John meets Egret, a spear wife. He's spear ordered... wife? Is that what she's called? Yeah. The fuck? <laughs> someone calls her a spear wife. What Maybe the? Maybe it was Horn. Maybe it was Stone Snake. I don't know. I don't know. Um, he's ordered to do the right thing. <laughs> and he lets her go. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Chapter Sansa. It's chapter 52. Yeah. I'm actually, I was actually kind of excited for this Sansa chapter, which is a first. <laughs> yeah, that is a first, Raven. Dang. Yeah. Warming up to her? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've warmed up to her a little bit. Um, I like her journey. But I think it's mostly just, like, she is in a really interesting position, like, oh, yeah. from a tor from a storytelling perspective. Mm -hmm. She's, like, trapped, surrounded by people that she can't trust. Uh -huh. Absolutely. And now she, like, has this plan and is putting her trust in, like, a drunk ex-knight. Yeah. And that is, I don't know, I think it's really intriguing. And I am I'm hooked <laughs> with with the Sansa right now. Me too. Yeah. I like her. Yeah. Alright. Sansa is meeting with Sir Dantos in the Godswood. <laughs> Speaking of drunken ex knights. <laughs> yeah. Lord Stannis's vanguard had arrived two nights prior. So there's lots of burning going on outside of the city and everything smells of soot. Uh sorry, whose vanguard? Stannis's? Yep. So okay. the the army that was traveling on foot is here. They just the so vanguard though, the not the whole army. Coming. Yeah, the ships are still on their way. Yeah. So what are they burning out there? The like the towns Maybe or the trees around the buildings, the ramshackle, bringing everything down. And then I know like the wildling, not the wildlings, the clansmen are also like around the outskirts, picking people off here and there. Didn't Tyrion have them, like, burning the king's wood or something? Yeah, that's a force around the... Maybe they're burning some of that, too? I remember being very confused about who was burning what and for what reason. Because I remember it saying that, like, Tyrion was having his clansmen burn some stuff. And I was like, yeah. wait, why? Like, I'm what's good. the... <laughs> How is that benefiting them? There was just you a lot what? I didn't understand with, like, the burning and who Same. was burning. <laughs> So much chaos. Yeah, and it... And Sansa doesn't understand. She's just watching. And George, like, doesn't spell it out for you, right? He'll nope. just say, like... Figure it out. <laughs> this is happening. Yeah, he'll just say things are burning and then, like, have a a thought cross Tyrion's mind or something. And then yeah. you'll be like, wait, so, so who? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Anyway, Sansa. So, Dantos is telling Sansa what he's overheard regarding the war with Stannis. He tells her that they have a mutual good friend that can get a ship to get her out of King's Landing, and but he is not in the city right now, so they have to wait. Oh, who is this friend? Ooh. Wait, <laughs> do you know who her. it is? Yeah. Should I know who it is? Yeah. Uh, it's not yeah. Varys, is it? Because he, he's in the city. Varys is in the city. Someone who's not in the city. Come on, come on. Uh, Who left the city? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say it because I don't want to bleep it out, but. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> It's Maybe kind of obvious, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good enough for Sansa. She wants out now, before the war. But she thanks him anyways, and they part. Sansa returns to her room. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh. You skipped when he tried to plant one on her. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's like, give me a kiss for good luck. And he tries to slobber kiss her. <laughs> Ew. Gross, man. <laughs> 
it's just it's shit like that. The entire that... time he's drunk as fuck, like he can't stand <sighs> up straight. He's weaving, he's slurring. God, Julia, it's like, yeah, it's shit like that that makes me question his motives. Mm-hmm. Cause he's like uh, drunking, drunk as you were saying, and like swaying and like coming at her, like yeah. gross, dude. Does he really want to help her? Does he want something else? If he's just working for someone, oh, maybe no. their mutual good friend. Yeah, to I guess keep so. Anza complacent, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. to just kind of like keep her from causing trouble until yeah. Uh, their good mutual good friend can not come back. Yeah. Keep her ready to go. When time comes. <gasps> well, she returns to her rooms, but they make her feel trapped, so she goes to the roof and looks out over the city. And the hound sticks up behind her. Oh. Oh. Happen. <laughs> Why is he always around? <laughs> Why do they keep meeting this way? <laughs> <laughs> Just randomly bumping into each other, honestly. <laughs> right? It oh, happens, so like, way too much, now. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he startles her. He calls her out for not being able to look at him, despite him saving her from the mob. <laughs> it's like, I saved you, why can't you freaking look at me? Yeah. Gosh. So she forces herself to look at him, and realizes that it's not his scars that scare her, it's his angry eyes. Ooh. I get that. <laughs> so she thanks him for saving her, because she realizes that she never did. And calls him brave. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes him snarl slash laugh. <laughs> and he doesn't consider it bravery for a dog to kill rats. Oh. And says, killing is the sweetest thing there is. And as long as he has his sword, he has nothing to fear. Okay. Sandor, Sandor oh. is kind of a badass. <laughs> I think so, too. I He's like... I like him. <laughs> I like him too. He's not a bad guy. He's been like literally the one person who's been like looking out for Sansa. Like he in is. a in a meaningful way that has direct results. Yes. He is a good guy at heart. But he also like he either doesn't believe that he's good or he doesn't want to be thought of as good. I don't know if he's playing a part or if he like just believes that he is someone that he's not. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think that might be it. That he doesn't think he's a good person. Mm, yeah, so he kind of, like, leans into that. And that's why he has to say it out loud instead of just, like, being that person. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yep, if you gotta say it. You gotta <laughs> tell people who you are, then you're not really that way. Yeah, if you're marching around telling people, like, oh, I'm such an asshole, then it's like, oh, are you, though? Know. Are you, though? <laughs> <laughs> like, you're kind of an asshole for, like... Claiming he's that you're an dick. asshole, but... He's not a bad person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Sansa asks if he's not afraid of Stannis' men across the river, which makes him pause and then say, only cowards fight with fire. <laughs> See, projected. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, oh. Hmm. What would make someone cowardly for fighting with fire? I guess because it's it, not direct hand-to-hand combat. Because fire is terrifying. <laughs> okay, will, we know that's the real anyone. reason, but I'm trying to understand his like his point his of view logic. Is that he's terrified of it, so it's so they must be cowards. And <laughs> okay, I know that, but I'm sure he's justified it to himself in a way that he like doesn't think it's just because he's scared of it. I think he's justified it by convincing himself that. They're cowards just because he's the coward. But that's not what he would tell himself. Maybe. I feel like he wouldn't like, be like, I'm a coward because I don't I like fire. Be- Therefore, they are cowards for using fire. No. That doesn't make any sense. He doesn't accept that he's a coward for being afraid of fire. So he projects his fear onto other people and say they're cowards instead. Oh, I see what you're saying. He's the real man who fights with the sword. Yeah, so... <laughs> okay, so we're kind of on the same wavelength here then yeah the if it's not direct hand-to-hand combat then it's like cowardly yep he's like only pussies need fire to defeat another man (laughs) (laughs) but he's just scared sansa asks if he's afraid that the gods will punish him for the evils he's done 
But he doesn't believe in gods, and if they do exist, then they've created the weak for the strong to play with. Damn. Sansa tells Sandor that he's awful, and he says that the world is awful, and that he's just honest, and he tells her to get lost. So she runs back to her rooms and goes <laughs> to bed. <laughs> She dreams of the mob, and they tear her from her horse and stab her lower body until she's just blood and ribbons down there. Oh, When she wakes up, her lower body is achy, and then she notices a stickiness on her thighs. She throws off the blanket and sees blood all over her. No! Oh, God. She panics, thinking that it's her dream, then she realizes it's her period. Uh-oh. Okay, can we... <laughs> okay, what... <laughs> Maybe this is TMI, but are first periods ever like this? Where it's just like a massacre? I think it depends on you. Some people end up really bloody and shit. Like, little girls having their pants covered. But mine wasn't like that, personally. Yeah. It started small. You know, on the toilet. Suddenly I saw on the toilet paper is blood, and I was like, oh no. Yeah, I just remember, like, some light spotting for me. Yeah. That's basically how it started. So I guess when I hear about them being, like, the fucking chainsaw massacre, like, in her bedroom or in her sheets, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I think for every girl it's different. Yeah. Or for every person who has a period, it's different. Sure. Better way to word it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, she freaks out. Realizing that she's ready to wed and bed Joffrey now. <laughs> oh no. So she, pull, so she pulls off the bloody sheets and blankets and tries to burn them in the fireplace. Oh shit, get rid of it girl. <laughs> you had that shit. It smokes up her room, her entire room, and her maids soon come and pull her away. She's brought before the queen who is breaking her fast. <laughs> but the thought of food makes Sansa sick. Cersei asks why she set the fire, and Sansa says that she was afraid. She thought it'd be less messy and more magical. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, I feel like that is kind of a thing, even today, in a lot of ways. Like, I mean, maybe not nearly as much as today. Maybe I'm talking out of my ass again, which I am. I'm always talking out of my ass, okay? Maybe it's because <laughs> yours came late, and it... You were, like, really, like, why haven't I had it when all of your friends had it? I, d I don't mean just periods, but I mean, like... The uh, whole concept of becoming a woman is all, like... Like, birth, for example. It's, like, it's kind of suggested that, like, yeah, it's a magical miracle. I mean, obviously, like, the pain is very real, and that's not really um, something that's, like, hidden. But there are stuff, like... Uh, bonding with your child or something they like make it sound like it's supposed to be a magical moment for both parents and like when it isn't like then there's something wrong with you and like huh like how messy and gross it is or it like not working and you having to go under operation and people don't like that yeah like the stuff like that women who think that anyone who has a c-section is not a real mother yeah so stuff like that and then the thing about bonding with your child like how that's supposed to be instant and magical but like sometimes it takes work um and there is kind of that like i don't know what i would call it but it's like a sense of shame where if you don't mm -hmm. experience like the magic of it then there's something wrong with you yeah postpartum depression is very real yeah and it's like kind of gaslighting in a way true it is yeah. Anyway, that got, like, <laughs> kind of serious. <laughs> <laughs> this makes Cersei laugh, and she says that womanhood is nine parts mess to one part magic. <laughs> What's this one part magic, Cersei? <laughs> yeah, tell me. <laughs> Cersei asks if she knows um, what her period means, and Sansa says that it's time for her to marry the king and to have his babies. Gross. She's <laughs> how old is she now? Twelve? I think she's 12. That's yeah, because Joffrey's fucking nasty. 13. Ew. Uh, Cersei understands why she doesn't seem excited and says that Joffrey humiliates her because she saw Arya humiliate him. Oh. Oh my god. Is that 
the reason for all this? Yeah. And she says that he's punishing her for his humiliation. What a fucking pussy. When he went from being so sweet to suddenly being a dick. Oh my god. Like, dick is not dick is too nice for him. <sighs> she says that she doesn't have to love him, but she will love his children. Cersei then shares some womanly wisdom. Love is poison that will kill her. Will kill her being Sansa? Yeah. Love will kill whoever loves. It feels good, but it's a bad thing to love. Oh. Okay, Cersei. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, Cersei. Ooh. <laughs> and that is that chapter. At one point when Cersei and Sansa are having their conversation, um, I don't remember what brought it up, but Sansa at one point points out that Joffrey is like the rightful heir to the throne and then Cersei does like a half smile <laughs> and I'm like oh shit <laughs> is she doing that because he's not actually the rightful king <laughs> yeah she's like very well done <laughs> it's just like up. yeah her little smirk of being like yes believe it <laughs> <laughs> yep uh, yep anyway chapter 53 is John again. Another John. Woo -woo. Let's yeah. see what happens. Can what are his repercussions for letting Egret go? Oh, yeah. The rangers camp in the Skirling Pass. Unable to sleep, John approaches Corrin and brings up Egret, saying that she said that Mance would have welcomed him into the Wildling army. I didn't mention this in the last chapter. All right. Well, just glanced over it. It's all good. Um, we know Corrin now. Says that it's true. And John learns that the entire group he's with all knew Mance. Mance was the best ranger they had, but he had no discipline. And was Wildling born, apparently. Okay, I am dumb because I didn't even know that he was once a brother. Oh, really? I probably, like, did read that and, like, did acknowledge it at one point, but it fled my mind. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just thought he was a straight-up wildling, like, through and through. Mm -hmm. No, he was, um, brother. Um, apparently he was taken from a wildling woman when he was a babe. Hmm, so it's in his blood. Yeah. So he is a wildling. Mm-hmm. John confesses that he spared Egret, and Corrin isn't surprised. John couldn't do it because she had no evil in her eyes and was unarmed. So that surprised me that he just admitted it straight up. Yeah, he just felt guilty. He's a good person. A mm -hmm. little Ned. Yeah, true. Uh, and it also surprised me, um, Corrin's reaction. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing, you dumb shit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When Wait. he approached them, I was like, oh. But Wait, I I explain Corrin's reaction. He was just like, eh. No, yeah. but he said the thing about doing the right thing. Oh, he's like, he said that he knew that John would do the right thing. And that now he knows John better than he did this morning. Right. That he likes to know all of his men. So this was a test to get to know John a little bit more. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I like Corrin. <laughs> I like him too. He's like a good guy. Mm -hmm. So John goes to sleep and goes takes off. John dreams that he is a wolf. Five wolves remain when there is one six and they are all scattered. Oh. He sees a growing werewood with his brother's face and wonders if he's always had three eyes. Heh. Okay, so... <laughs> This is a deep dream. What is, is this a dream? Or is John like a beastling as well as Bran? Like what is going on? Dead. Then this happens. He's up in the mountains. He sees a huge host that is less of an army and more of a town. Bra is big. He sees giants riding mammoths. And he looks up as a... It said pinion wings. I had no idea what that is. But now I know it's an eagle. Plummets out of the sky and attacks him. Pinions are like the tips of the wings. Oh, so that's what he sees. Yeah. 
the tips of the wings. Indeed. And then John wakes up shouting for ghosts. So, I wonder, is he like Bran, like dreaming? He's in his wolf. That's what I was saying! Is he a yeah. beastling, or is this- You said it was just a dream! It's not just a dream, because it fucking happened. Oh, I didn't mean that. I meant to say, like, hold on, let me finish the dream. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> let me finish it, then we can discuss. Huh? <laughs> let me finish the dream, then we can talk about John's beastling. I was just very confused. I'm like, what the yeah. fuck? Like, I didn't know he also was like this. Does, oh. Yeah, he has this power too. Like, what the fuck? Magic runs in him. Yeah, and he clearly saw Bran in the weirwood tree. Yeah, with the three eyes. The three eyes. It was his brother, and he's like, did he always have three eyes? Mm, that's Bran, so... Ooh. I guess we know Bran's gonna open his third eye at some point. Oh boy. Everyone tells him to shut the fuck up. <laughs> and then he's like, but I had a dream! <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly, Corrin wants to know details, so John tells him everything while feeling foolish. Hmm. Eben, who is another member of their group, thinks that the bird was a skin changer. And, like, they're all taking it seriously. He's like, what the fuck? Yeah. They set out again, despite Ghost not showing up, which has John very worried. The day ends when Squire Dalbridge, another member of their group, points out an eagle perched far above them. Corin chooses to press on. John is about to follow when he sees Ghost, and he jumps off his horse and goes to him. Ghost's neck is torn where the talons got him. Whoa. They clean and bind the wound, and Corrin decides that they should head back, like, ASAP. Like, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> they ride the entire night. That's like a whole day and night of riding. Bruh. And when they reached where John and Stone Snake killed the wildlings, Squire, Squ the Squire Dalbridge stays behind to hold them off. The wildlings off, because they think they're being chased. With the eagle seeing them. In case that wasn't picked up. Yeah, I was pretty confused by that. Mm -hmm. He, like, sees the eagle, and then he's like, We're spotted! And yeah. I'm like, what? what? was the? Did the eagle belong to the wildlings? Like, I... They think it was the eagle that attacked Ghost. Yeah, but so what? Yeah. It could be. <laughs> that means they're spotted? I wonder if the, the, the eagle, who was a changeling, or a skin changer, as Eben says... Oh, like knew he is one of the wildlings? The wolf knew that the wolf was spying on them. Like, knew it wasn't a regular wolf. Because huh. why would an eagle randomly attack a tire wolf? I guess. I wonder if somehow he knew that the wolf had other eyes looking through as well. But also, the eagle seemed fine, whereas a uh, ghost was injured. So why would... If he was attacking him, why would he not kill... The direwolf. Maybe Ghost got away? He's a big he's a big boy. Yeah, but how would he get away without doing any damage to the eagle? Just by running, I guess? Yeah. The eagle takes off again after it tears the back of the neck. Hmm. And then Ghost books it and hides. I guess so. When dawn breaks, they notice a bird in the sky. And then they hear a hunting horn in the distance. And that is that chapter. So I guess they are being chased. Wild wildlings. It's that goddamn eagle. Yeah. This chapter was confusing for me. Like, I can put it together, but it still just, like, leaves me being like, wait, is this right? Mm -hmm. Also, Squire Delbridge was uh, left behind with the intention to die to let the rest of the group get away. Yeah, but what what is he doing exactly? So he's up where the wildlings were up in the in the mountain, and he's gonna pick them off with his bow as they come through the skirling pass. Oh, because it'll be like kind of easy to do so. Yeah, it's the best. Like apparently, you can take out a lot of them mm -hmm. until they get to him. I see. Yeah, but sometimes I wish George would just spell it out. Like, just yeah. tell me what fucking happened, please. <laughs> Don't let me read between the lines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If I can figure it out, it's like, sure, but if I'm still confused, <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> I just want to know what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, right. I feel like I'm contradicting another... myself, but still. <laughs> Ready for another Tyrion? 
Oh yeah, chapter 54 is Tyrion. <clears throat> Tyrion. <sighs> As Tyrion crosses the yard to sup with Cersei, Varys stops him and hands him a letter. The two younger Stark boys are dead. <gasps> the Tyrion fuck? Tyrion is not pleased. <laughs> like, he's not happy and jumping for joy. He's just like, but they're children. Yeah. He takes the letter, and when he sits at the table with Cersei, he hands it to her. He asks if she's pleased, since she wanted the older one dead. She's not, and she didn't want him dead. She just wanted to intimidate Bran into silence. Wait, which part was supposed to intimidate him into silence? The fucking assassin? No, apparently this was all done without her knowing. The assassin? Uh, yeah, she doesn't know about that. Wait, so which part was supposed to intimidate him into silence? Um, Throwing him off a fucking balcony? Yeah, she. when uh, Jamie did that, she was shocked and appalled. She just wanted him to threaten Bran. She didn't want him to hurt him. Uh. Yeah, she doesn't... I don't think she's a child killer either. Uh, okay. So, like, okay. Uh, so they eat several courses of delicious food. Um, which has me thinking, instead of being like, oh, yeah, I'm scrumptious, I'm thinking of the starving people of King's Landing. And they wasted a bunch of their food, because it's just two of them. Yeah, but it sounds so good, though. <laughs> I know, they only had a little bit of each. And Tyrion only eats what Cersei eats, just to be cautious. <laughs> he, like, thinks he's, him. yeah, she's gonna poison him or something. Yeah, he's like, I don't think she'll do that, but just in case. Yeah. Cersei asks if there's word from Bitterbridge, and there is none. That's where Littlefinger is. Mm. She says that she's never trusted Littlefinger. So that she wonders if he's scheming against them or whatnot. Mm. Cersei asks if he's sure, if Tyrion is sure that he got all the traitors in the city. Tyrion says that Barry says so. And Cersei is like, <laughs> shouldn't be trusting Barry. Ooh. Apparently, Varys had told Cersei that Tyrion plans on removing the Hound from Joff, and he is allowing Joffrey to be part of the fighting. Part in quotation marks. Wow, Varys, what the fuck? Yeah, right? What the Bitch. fuck, Varys? Tyrion's like, he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> we thought you were on yeah. Tyrion's side, Varys. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Bitch. Cersei asks if he knows why Varys is so dangerous. It's because he doesn't have a cock. And that Tyrion's worm does half of his thinking for him. <laughs> she reveals that she has Tyrion's whore. It's her revenge for selling Marcella, stealing Tommen, and for plotting Joffrey's death. She thinks that Tyrion letting Joffrey be a part of the battle, in quotation, is his attempt to kill him. Okay, have you talked about what that plan is? Joff being a part of the battle? Yeah, just to be seen. He's just he's just there. Yeah. To give the people courage. Huh. <laughs> yeah. He, he's not really going to be in the thicket at all. He's just going to stand there, I think. And then be ushered away if it gets too violent. Yeah, he'll just be surrounded by like 80 dudes. <laughs> Once the outer hard. layer is gone, then <laughs> they're like, okay. Retreat! <laughs> uh, Tyrion is freaking out, but he forces himself to stay calm and cool. He asks her to prove that he hasn't killed his whore, and Cersei orders the whore brought in. Instant relief. It's Elia. Elia. Yeah, it's not Shay. Yeah. Tyrion pretends that she is his whore. And says that if she so much, if Cersei so much as hurts her, the same thing will happen to Tommen. Cersei's like, you wouldn't dare. And she moves to slap him. But he grabs her arm and twists it back, bringing her down to her knee. Oh, shit. Tyrion. Oh. The knight holding Alayea moves to protect Cersei, but Tyrion threatens to break her arm if he comes closer. Damn. He orders the knight to unbound. Unbind. unbind. And remove the gag that Elia is. <laughs> I feel like you say her name different every time you I'm say it. Really struggling. <laughs> I just say Alayaya. Alayaya, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he apologizes to her and urges her to be brave. <laughs> Tyrion then coldly tells Cersei that she's ended their truce and that he will hurt her for this. He says, quotes, 
A day will come when you think yourself safe and happy, and suddenly your joy will turn to ashes in your mouth, and you'll know the debt is paid. Damn, that is badass. It is. <laughs> I love Tyrion standing up to Cersei. Yeah. God, Cersei that's awesome. <laughs> tells him to get out. Back in his tower, Shay's waiting in his bed, naked except for a golden chain looped across her titties. <laughs> she says that very snuck her in, but Tyrion is not in the mood, so they both go to sleep. Tyrion thinks about how innocent she is before catching himself, remembering that she is a whore and that he is thinking with his cock, as Cersei had said. Oh, yeah, shit. That's pretty significant. Yeah, he's definitely projecting someone else on her. Like an innocent young girl that who's in love with him and stuff. Pretending that she's not the whore that she is. Yeah, like, w when you look at a whore and think to yourself, like, oh, she looks so innocent. Like, yeah, yeah. you've got to catch yourself and be like, well, hold up. <laughs> That's You're it's not like supposed the, to fall in love. It was like the least innocent person. So you got to ask yeah. yourself, why am I thinking of her as innocent? Exactly. And yeah, yeah. it's because you're projecting an image yeah it is interesting that he's like realizing that after cersei said that he thinks with his cock yeah yeah she's right yeah so what is that gonna lead to hopefully he catches himself more and it doesn't bite him in the ass i think the only way it won't bite him in the ass is if he lets her go she has to leave you know what he, yeah he can't keep seeing her or it's gonna keep happening He's in love with her. Uh, I get rid of her now. God. Yeah, it took me a hot minute to realize that it was Alayaya and not Shay. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I like it completely went over my head when it mentioned like her dark skin. <laughs> it wasn't until it was like <laughs> Alayaya did this that I was like, oh, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> At least Varys is also working both ways. Is that a good thing, though? Varys gave Cersei the whore. Well, he has to, right? He's, like, mm. the bringer of secrets for everyone. Yeah, because I guess like, so. Not give Cersei secrets. Yeah. It's like, a, I don't remember whether he said it once or whether someone else said it, but yeah, he just feeds them enough information so that they think that he's theirs. Mm-hmm. Well, damn. Sansa. Goodness. <laughs> She's like, gotta marry Joffrey now. Fuck. In the middle of this chaos of the war happening. Ugh. Right. Yeah. And then John having that weird ass dream. And they're being chased <laughs> by wildlings now. Very telling. He yeah. Definitely has the gift. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if the other uh, siblings will also experience this with their wolves. Yeah, I did. There was nothing in the show that seemed to suggest John had the same gift, right? Nope. It was just Bran. So it makes me wonder if maybe, like, Bran is having an effect on John. Oh. So if, if they it's. Connected a little bit? Yeah, so if it's actually, like, Bran's power, like, coming through John or something. I'm not convinced by that, but it's just a thought. Yeah. It's like, Johnny! Do you want to wait for me? We're almost done. Don't roll your eyes at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to leave that yeah. in. <laughs> <laughs> Don't roll your eyes at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then Tyrion, um, he's probably he's in... Fight. Yeah, he's probably in the best situation <laughs> out of the three of these oh. people. <laughs> Uh, oh, no. Stannis is coming. Yeah, okay. And in charge. But personally, Cersei got Alayaya, not Shay. Mm -hmm. So that is ideal. I mean, there's obviously the situation with Shay, and now he's like recognizing that he's been falling for her, which mm -hmm. is a problem. So, I mean, maybe that'll give him a chance to correct it, though. I guess we'll see. Yeah. All right. I guess that's it for this episode. It is. Thank you so much for listening. If you want more of the podcast, please follow us on Instagram. You can follow the podcast at TigBabPodcast. 
or you can follow us separately. My handle is crimby, Jess's is jess.egan24. You can also find us on Facebook. Uh, just search Take Bad Podcast or Tea is Good, Books Are Better, and we should pop up there. Also, please subscribe to our good friend Baram Barami on YouTube. He's the one who made our jingle that you heard at the start of this episode. And he's really dope and makes cool stuff, so give him a like and a subscribe. Also, you can check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash tea is good, books are better. We have a few different tiers on there with fun rewards, so if you contribute, you will get something in return. You will also be helping us out immensely, and we'd be very appreciative, but we also just appreciate you listening. And please don't forget to share the podcast with your family and your friends. Uh, that's it. (laughs) I never know how to end them. (laughs) Me neither. I'm like, uh, <laughs> so this is awkward. <laughs> Just like 10 minutes of silence. That's how we should end it. Uh, twiddling thumbs. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> <clears throat> yep. <laughs> All right, that's it. <laughs> okay, bye. Thanks for listening. Bye.